Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution. Today, we are finishing this park. That feels good to say. Um, just admiring our little savanna area here. Isn't that just super peaceful looking? Look at that. It's like a nature documentary. If I could do, if I could imitate, um, oh fuck, David Attenborough, I would totally do it, but I, I can't, so I shan't. Anyway, um, last time we got uh, the bottom section completely done, which looks spectacular, by the way. Um, got our jungle exhibit, we got our swamp exhibit, which looks awesome. <gasps> Look at them, they're so pretty. Okay, anyway, getting distracted. Um, then we came up here and built our savanna exhibit, which looks very empty and sad, but I'm fighting the urge to put more trees and stuff. It should look very open. It's savanna. It's kind of how, that's kind of how savannas are. They're just wide open areas. Um, I do want to flatten this hill out a little bit just because um, this tree like, kind of like merges into the hill, which is weird. So let's just go ahead and flatten that a bit, smooth it, smooth that a bit. There we go. That looks better. Much, much better. Okay, good. Fantastic. All right. So this time, yeah, we're going to finish this park up in this episode. Um, first of all, we're going to get some dinosaurs incubating for that exhibit. Um, I decided I'm going to do, um, for my lion, I'm going to do Acrocanthosaurus. So I'm going to look up some skins just to see what we're dealing with here. Um, anything lion-like other than the, just the default? skin because i i'm all for default skin but i mean if i don't have to do it i won't um acrocanthosaurus i'm thinking uh how about one normal one alpine that could actually be really cool nice little pair like a lion and a lioness Whoops, what am I doing? Sick. Um, I was thinking of this little pack of hyenas, but I'm not sure. I'm thinking like a medium carnivore of some kind for that, but I'm not sure which one yet. I was looking at um, maybe using the Majunga for this. Majunga. Um, Take a look at Majungasaurus. Let's also Google image a hyena, because I want to know what the color pattern we're going for here is. Hyena. Yeah, so it should be like have spots and stuff. God, they're scary. They're really scary. I'm, pr I'm pretty confident that being mauled by hyenas would be like one of the worst ways to die. Sounds absolutely horrible. Um, it's not a lot with spots, but I feel like the tundra is pretty close to the right colors, so I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna do like four of them. We'll go crazy with this. I mean, hyenas have huge, huge groups, but I'm not not going to make like 10 of them. That would be ridiculous. Um, I'm going to do zebras too. Um, like four of them, I think. And as much as I hate them, I think the Myasaur would be best for this. So, because they, they have kind of a zebra-like pattern. Um, I know one of them is even like kind of black and white. So, um, I'm going to go with that one, whatever it is. Hmm. I think woodland or coastal would actually work really well. I think coastal would be a bit, a bit better. So then we're going to do... Um, once these are done incubating, we're going to do... Um, rhino and a hippo. 
Uh, the hippos is going to be the Niger source because they just they look like hippos. What? Um, hippos, though. Honestly, of all the animals I'm like representing with these dinosaurs, I seriously think hippos are the most dangerous. It's a bold statement, but I absolutely stand by it. They are absolutely vicious. They're really scary. Um, I say one of the worst ways to die would be getting attacked by a hyena. I think a hippo would be even worse. You know how strong their friggin' mouths are? It's nuts. You don't fuck with hippos. Um, then the, other than that, I'm going to do rhino, which... I'm thinking Sinoceratops is pretty much made for it. Um, unless there's another... Um, another... Uh, what am I trying to say? Ceratops, that would be better, but I think Rhino is it. Yeah. The, Ceratops, the Sinoceratops only has like the one main horn, which is why I think it's best for this. Also, it's kind of chunky, like an actual Rhino. So... And then the last one I'm also going to do is a giraffe, which obviously I'm going to use a sauropod of some kind. I was thinking of doing Brachiosaurus just because I haven't used it in a while, but um, in thinking about it, I think the Camarasaurus has the best skins for this one. So I'm going to go with Camarasaurus for that. So once this, oops, uh, once these are done incubating, I will start that. But in the meantime, um, let's put some feeders down here, um, and then it's time to start on easily the hardest exhibit to build in the entire park, one I've been absolutely dreading this whole time. I think it'll turn out really cool if I do it right, but god, getting it to look good is going to be a serious challenge. Like, it's, it's going to be no joke. Um... But you know what? I'm prepared. I'm going to try my best. Um, I'm sure it'll look decent. Whether it'll look good, I can't say. But I'm going to do my best. Uh, I also need some tall herbivore feeders. This is going to look really stupid next to this tree. But I really wish the tall herbivores could just eat from the stupid trees. I don't know why they can't. Well, they can in, in the sequel. But I don't know why they couldn't in this game. I mean, it just sort of makes sense that they'd be able to fucking do that. It's kind of their whole point in life. Um, all right, Myasaur. Here's our zebra. Or zebra. Even the mouth kind of is close. It's almost horse-like. And they got the zebra stripes. It's fine. All right, stop it. I'm gonna, I just realized I didn't ever, never changed the... Uh, the lighting back. Oh, that's why it's not changing, because it's set to day all only. Whoops. Yes. There we go. Now we'll get some change of lighting throughout the video, which will be nice. All right, who's ready? Ooh, Acro. I'm going to wait on him. I'm going to get these guys uh, tranked first and then shipped out so they don't get eaten by the acro when they're unconscious. That would be very depressing. Majunga. Um, okay, so now this is uh, opening up a bit. I'm thinking like three hippos, two rhinos, two giraffes. So let's do the rhino. Next. Actually, let's do the giraffe next. They're going to take forever. Um, so, Camarasaurus. Um, these guys are big. Not as big as the other um, sauropods, though. So, I think they'll be good. The step one, I think, is like perfect for this. So, we're going to do it. Step two of you. Yes, thank you. Then once this guy gets up the hell out of my way, um, let's see, Rhino. Let's 
Sinoceratops. Who's the most rhino-like in color? Well, are we going to go with a white rhino or a black rhino? That's the question. Rhino. Google rhinos. Um, hmm, like a light gray, I think, will work. So an alpine. I think alpine will be good to do it. Oh, fine. Boom. Whoops. No. No, no, no. Where are you going? Where are you going? You're not done yet. Get the hell back in here. Alright, my Asura. Yeah, I, I, I do hate them, but... Hate's a strong word. I very heartily dislike them. I hate the Ankylodacus. Um, I don't know, the Myasaur is not quite bad enough to receive that level of uh, malice from me, but they're pretty bad. They're pretty bad. I don't like them. I don't like them, I'm not even neutral on them, I just dislike them. But, uh, I mean, they're not worthy of the absolute fury I have toward the. Not fury, just the loathing I have for the Ankylodacus. I hate it so much. I hate it. These guys, I mean, they're not terrible. I mean, they kind of look weird, though. They look weird, and they're just, the colors are lazy, and it's not very interesting. I just think they could have done it a bit better. But it's fine. Um, let's get the acros out. These guys are huge. Oh, we can finally see them. The sun's actually shining on the hatchery now. They're not in shadow, finally. I don't know why I didn't do this earlier. There's my lion. And here's my lioness. I do like three, but that seems a little excessive. Three giant carnivores like that would just be ridiculous. Nice little pair of lions. Um, yeah, let's get them tranquilized. Oh my god. I wish you had these were a little bit closer, but I really can't make them any closer. Uh, I wish you could like just put them on standby, you know? Like, don't go anywhere. Sinos are done. Anyway, um, let's see. Let's get the Majungas out. Why not? So here's our hyena. It's pretty close in color, I'd, I'd say. For what I'm going for. Go ahead and just pause the lighting right there. By pause, I mean put it 24 hours. Because that is gorgeous. Look at that lighting. It's just so cool. The sun's high enough where it's not too dark, but get this nice golden light. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. God, this island's big. Shipping them over, it's a pain. You gotta go so far. It's crazy. Alright, so then the last exhibit. Oh, God. Um, oh, so I'm thinking of doing a mountain exhibit. Which, given the terrain <laughs> tools in this game... Um, 
Oh my, my god. Seems just really, really hard. But you know what? I'm gonna do my best. I look like shit, but whatever. I just, I don't think the, the tools for the terrain in this game are not built for like extreme vertical building builds like that. So this could be a disaster. Um, but damn it, I'm gonna try. So the Nidra Stars, I'm just gonna do default. Three default. And they will be my hippos. God, hippos are scary. Oops, I never got the rest of these guys out. There's four of them. Okay, I don't wanna. <laughs> this is gonna be so hard. Oh my god. Let's start with a blank slate. I'm thinking like two big mountain peaks and like a like a mountain valley. But the valley's kinda high up. So I don't know. The the even putting the road down for those stupid tour vehicles is gonna be hard. Like just everything about this is gonna just screams extremely difficult to me. But, you know what? This is supposed to be a, a challenge of sorts, so... You know what? I'm gonna try it. If I fail, I fail. If I succeed, that's gonna be awesome. Like, it would be super cool. Only thing I wish is that we could have, like, snow-capped mountains, but it's not really gonna work out in this game. So I'm thinking about just... Starting out by just raising the entire elevation. Um, sorry if you hear guitar sounds. My neighbors across the other side of the wall play guitar sometimes. It's fine. It's actually very nice, but you might get a little bit of. Uh, well, I mean, it'll be some copyright-free background music, I guess. But it's, yeah. No, what, what am I even apologizing for? Just deal with it. It's guitar music. What? Are you going to sue me over guitar music? Yeah, this is going to take a little bit. Just to get the terrain to look halfway decent. Um, the edges are going to look like ter they're just absolutely terrible. Um, and there's nothing I can do about it, so sorry about it. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to try to have the valley kind of go like... Through this way, have the underway. vehicles sort of wind their way through the the valley. Yeah, we're gonna try to just build two big, nice mountain peaks, cover the whole area in stone, and then we're gonna just have a little valley in the middle, maybe like a lake in the valley, and then. Uh, have the vehicles go through the, the valley. And that's why way back in the first episode of this series, I um, had this side of the forest to kind of go a little bit more mountainous because I want to have it lead into this exhibit. Um, it's going to be so hard. Now, as for animals, um, I have a few mountain animal ideas, but I think I'm also going to mix like snowy tundra animals in with this as well, just because it seems like the kind of right environment for them. So, um, I'm definitely thinking some sort of either ceratops, so like a small ceratops, like like, like Styracosaurus maybe. Have I used Styracosaurus yet? No, I have not. Um, like a Styracosaurus um, for like a mountain goat. I'm thinking um, snow leopard. So I'm going to find like a very white and black colored 
like medium sized carnivore probably. Um, then I was thinking for tundra animals like wolf pack. So I'm thinking probably raptors to be honest. Um, I think I might use the 1993 raptors because I never used them for some reason. I mean, they're cool. It's just the tiger raptors and the uh, JP3 raptors are so much cooler. But I think we should give the 1993 raptors a bit of love. So I want to use them. And then uh, I'm trying to think of another animal that I could do. Like an ox, maybe. Let me Google mountain animals. Snow leopard, mountain goat, bunch of other shit I've never heard of. Yak. See, I see a yak. <gasps> oh my god, llamas. Llamas. Yes. Yes. Fuck yes. Okay, I'm doing llamas for sure. Or alpacas, but I don't even care. Some sort of hadrosaur, they'll be alpacas. It'll be fantastic. It's like the wrong environment entirely for them, but I don't give a fuck. They're mountain animals. Deal with it. Um, say, they say it's like a an ibex if you don't like it. A vicuña or a something. Pick a some sort of herbivorous animal that lives in mountains. But I'm calling them alpacas because I fucking love alpacas. They're, they're just the best. All right. Um. Now we just have the um, herbivores left. So here's Camarasaurus. God, they're big. Oh, he's clipping through the hatchery. That's cool. Looks like he's our giraffe. They are pretty damn cool. And I think the pattern works pretty well for a giraffe. Let's look at them. Yeah, it's, it's not like a perfect pattern, but it's the right general colors. And they're not like they're not quite as tall as like the Brachiosaurus, the Mementisaurus, the Dreadnoughtus, or something. So I think they're good. They're a good pick. Um, see, I think just a. Oh, I, I was gonna Google tundra animals then. Reindeer. <gasps> Arctic fox. <sighs> I love I love foxes. They're amazing. They're adorable. I don't know, orca. Mm, not quite what I'm going for here, but thanks for the suggestion. Penguin. I guess penguins kinda work. Seals, stoats. Wolverine. That sounds scary. Um, rabbits and shit. Yeah, wolves, uh, whatever. Bears, but I already have a bear. Uh, polar bear. The only pure white um, carnivore I can think of is the Indominus, which I already said I'm not going to use in this park, so I'm going to go ahead and not do that. Um, God, these guys take forever to ship over. I'll come look at this after I get all the dinosaurs in. Uh, for now, I suppose I probably should work on the stupid mountains. The only problem is that the animals will probably go on the mountains, and it'll look really weird because this slope is going to be so steep, but there's not, really, not much I can really do about that, so suck it up. Uh, Nidrosaurus. Here's our hippo. Transportation. 
I don't know why they gave him the Brachiosaurus theme. It's very anticlimactic. <laughs> Which is sad, because this dinosaur is really cool. It's just not as cool as a Brachiosaurus. Setting the bar too high with the music. Come on now. Yeah, look at that. The, the face looks like a hippo. Like, does it not? That's a hippo face. It's a hippo's face. You can't tell me it's not. And there's that. And then, last but not least, the rhino. Rhino. Rhinos are really cool. They're really cool, but I feel like they're really terrifying to be around. They're kind of just really unpredictable, you know. All right, let's get these guys tranked. Sick. All right. All right. Let's get this shit show on the road. Hmm. Like, where do I even start <laughs> for something like this? Like, how do I even get started? Um. Just go for it. Don't even think about it. Just go. Do it. I'm thinking like, yeah, one set of mountains over here. Let's just raise this area. Kind of flatten her out up top like uh, so. No, 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 no. Careful, careful, careful. Let's not ruin my woodland exhibit, though. Very sad. I worked very hard on that. Raise this part. Take it all the way over here. And we'll work on how that's shaped later on. Also, like a coffin right now. Which, you know, that's how I'm feeling right now. Um, and then uh, another one on this side. So we're gonna go like leave some space for the, like for the, a little bit of a lake in the middle, and then. Have like one big peak over there, one big peak over here, and like a smaller one in the middle, I guess. Start by just flattening out up to here. This is what I mean, like, this is as steep as you can get in this game for slopes, so, like, I don't know. Mm. Ah, it's gonna look like shit. It's gonna look terrible. But I'm gonna make it look as good as it possibly can. I, I think once I get some stone on it and like work out all these little weird shapes, it'll probably look f not good, but eh, decent, I guess. I'm like, okay, so. If I put a nice big mountain over here, so this actually will be the first exhibit in the whole park when you're going through like forward. But I'm saving it for last because it was so such a pain in the ass. I wanted to put it off as long as possible. Uh, let's see if I can flatten this out. This will be kind of like a little gradual slope that you take into the valley. I think it'll look good. Sort of. <laughs> it'll look as good as it possibly could, given the constraints that I'm having to deal with here. Yeah, nice peak like that. Try to avoid smoothing it out too much because I want it to look a little bit jagged, like an actual mountain peak. Another peak right here, and then maybe like put the part in the middle downward a little bit, like just lower the middle section. 
to make the actual peaks even more pronounced. Mm, work. Mm, that'll work. So let's see if I can get like three proper peaks out of this one. It's like one big one over here, one big one over here, and then one even bigger one in the middle. I know my Sinoceratopses are probably starving to death right now, but I'm I'm in the zone. I got I can't stop. I gotta just finish this stupid shit. Um, lower that. I mean, it doesn't look bad. It actually looks pretty good, all things considered. Yeah, the dinosaurs walking up these steep slopes might be look a, might look a little, a little bit weird, but I mean they're mount animals, so it's kind of what they do, you know. Kind of the whole, the whole shtick with them. Let's give you like a more gradual slope on this side. That'll look great. And then see if I can get this to maybe flatten out. Not flatten, but smoothly. Up a bit more smoothly like that. Eh. It doesn't look bad. I mean... Let's put some stone down and see how this looks. I'm gonna do that. I might actually move the um, the fences a bit to like, like right on the other side of the peaks, like right around here maybe, so they can't like go down here, because that would be a little bit strange. That would look a bit odd to look over and see like a dinosaur like on that super, super like sheer drop. I just don't think, I think that wouldn't look very good, so. I think I'll move the boundaries, but I mean, all things considered, this actually looks pretty good. What time are we at? Um, 33 minutes. Holy shit. Okay. Well, I'm actually making pretty good progress, so I think I think we're in good good shape to actually finish this series on time. How about that? So I probably should start talking about the next uh, park build, huh? So since this is the finale for uh, the 11th park build out of 12. That means it's time to talk about the final park build. So um, it's crazy. It's the end of an era. Um, the final park build is going to be on Sanctuary Island. Um, and it is going to be my the ultimate sort of final test for me. Um, I am going to be making a 68 species park. I have to use every species in the game in one park. And not only that, they have, they have to all be comfortable and like happy. So like, I'm going to turn social requirements and habitat requirements on. Um, and I have to build the park so that they're all happy. Um, so it'll be a bit of a challenge. I have to use some strategy. I'm also going to try to do some cool terrain stuff and cool design stuff. Kind of just bring everything I've learned from these last 11 park builds together into one awesome, glorious, final park build. Um, so I'm really excited about it. I think it's going to be really cool. Um, I've wanted to build a park like that forever. Just like kind of an ultimate park where I try to include every single species. Um, and I think it'll turn out pretty cool. So... I'm excited for it. Uh, the other cool thing is I'm actually going to have Sam with me for the whole entire thing. So if you've been around on the channel for a while, you'll know Sam. But if you watched my old Jurassic World Evolution stuff, um, you know Sam was in a lot of those videos too. Every once in a while, she was in some of them. So like on the my original playthrough for Claire's Sanctuary, she was on that a lot. 
for uh, the Seek Dr. Wu. She was on the second half of that series. She joined me for a little bit. I think that was actually it. I don't think she ever joined me for the Return of Jurassic Park. No, she didn't. Or the main game. But, you know, she's she's been around um, in the series. And I feel like... Um, I feel like the first Jurassic World Evolution video I did that really, like, I don't know, I thought was like a really, really good video um, was the first one that she was on. So I think it's only fitting to finish off the series with Sam. So I'm going to do that. So this is all stone now. I'm going to put some more grass in, no worries, but I just wanted a blank slate of stone to start with. But hey, we have a lot of like pretty much dead dinosaurs over here, so let's just go ahead and <laughs> move the bodies over. Asset to be collected. God, this is going to take forever. Might speed this up, so give me a second. So that's that. Now here's the challenge, the ultimate challenge. Make this shit look good. Um, this is not gonna be easy. Um, I'm wondering what if I did like a tiny, tiny bit of sand, like a tiny little touch of it. Now I was thinking maybe if I did it lightly enough, it looked it would look kind of like snow, but it's not going to work that way. I'm not going to even look anything like snow. So I'm going to put a little bit of grass back in the middle. I'm keep some patches of stone here and there, but put a little bit of grass. Um, I'm going to do a lake, kind of a longer sort of lake in the middle. So we'll go like. Like so. Um, actually, don't do any more because I need to have room to put the actual track. Actually, maybe I should do that before I get carried away with anything else. I should put the track down. Um, that doesn't look bad. I mean, I gotta just make it look a little bit more natural. Put a bit, like, maybe a bit of dirt on the side of the, the mountains, a bit of grass here and there just to make it look a little bit less um, just the same texture everywhere. Um, even though it should be mostly stone. Um, so this, we're not going to get too carried away with this. Um, maybe go up the mountain a little bit, but not too much. There. Very simple route through this one, but there's not really much more space for me to to use for this, so yeah, that works. Well, there we go. Now the monorail or the the Jurassic Tours track is finally complete. That's good. Any sort of flatter area, I'm gonna to try to put a bit of grass on. I think I'll make it. It already looks a lot better, actually. So it's good. Just yeah, a bit of grass, and then maybe put some like boulders in the actual lake. Boulder. Yeah, snow would make this perfect, but there's no snow, so I'm not gonna bother crying about it. 
Oh, I gotta move the fences too. Um, that's probably about as good as you can hope for. Um, I think I'm gonna do a couple of redwoods, not too many though. Delivery has oh. been completed. Just, just a few. To add a bit to the ambiance. I don't fucking know. Um, just a few. Definitely put some features in this little flat area here. like pine trees but um like normal pine trees not these giant honking ones they aren't even actually pine trees the redwoods but um you know it's it's fine doing the best i can with what i'm given just a few more trees here and there there no more Oh, it'll, it'll start turning into like another woodland exhibit. That's not what I want. So I think all things considered, this actually turned out really, really well. I'm actually surprised. Um, I'm going to add a bit more... Let's do some crag for this one. I think that seems good. Do a bit of... Crag around the base of the mountains. I'm thinking maybe a little bit of vibrant stuff as well. Add a bit of color. Imagine like like, like, like like a mountain scene with like pretty flowers and shit. I don't fucking know. Seems peaceful. And there's gonna be alpacas here, so it's gonna be even more peaceful there. Yeah, I know the alpacas are gonna kind of be out of left field. I mean, you have like basically three different environments clashing, but I did the same kind of thing for the desert, and that worked out fine. So suck my ass if you don't like it. All right, let's move the the boundaries a bit. Um, just gonna start fresh. How about that? Do this side first. So let's see. We don't want them going onto the slope on this side. So we're gonna try to build this as naturally as possible. It's gonna look a little bit weird, but the whole exhibit's weird because it's mountains. And it's Jurassic World Evolution and terrain constraints are a thing, and yeah, I th I'm actually very happy with how this turned out. Um, probably should get some dinosaurs incubating, but meh. give me a minute. I'll get to it when I get to it. There. See, I'm not actually losing too much area. I'm just preventing them from... What? Hello? Where? Who? What? Eat then, you fucking idiot. Maybe I should put some more normal herbivore feeders. Put one right there. I'll go ahead and put one right there. Go ahead and put one right... There's some over there already. Put one over here. Now there's no way he's gonna starve to death. I don't know why I don't, I don't just eat if they're hungry. All right, let's um, let's get started with some species here. Um, what did I say I was gonna do before? I didn't. Oh yeah. Um, I feel like I haven't used any stegosaurids though. Maybe for the mountain goat I should do that. Like a Youngosaurus, maybe? Yeah. Let's give it a shot. I never use these guys anyway, so it'll be good. Give them a bit of love. Uh, Youngosaurus. Still probably pronouncing that wrong, but I don't give a fuck. I don't care. Um, the Savannah one. Let's look up Mountain Goat. Mountain Goat. They're white, so... There's no white ones. Um, there is kind of a light gray blue, though, which I think would work decently enough. Uh, let's do like four. Yeah. 
we're going to do, what was I saying? Snow Leopard. So two of them. I'm thinking Carnotaurus might work really well for this. Although I'm actually going to take a quick look at... Um, Metri. Any, any like whitish, blackish sort of Metri skins? Nope. <laughs> None. Alright, well... Carnotaurus it is then. God, they're, they're really just so cool looking. Um, the Alpine could work, but I think Savannah actually. Why the Savannah skin's all so good for these, for this environment? Like, it's very clearly not a Savannah environment. Um, but hey. I'm not gonna argue. Oh, actually, maybe the Alpine. No. Mm. No, I, I think I think Savannah is gonna be best. Oh, Alpine could be good. Maybe I'll do like one of each. How about that? One of each. I'm on the fence about it, so nothing's stopping me from doing two. Alpine, let's do it. Um, then my wolf pack. So we're gonna do like four raptors. Actually, maybe I should do the, um, I might do like five raptors, actually. So I'm going to do the alpacas first. Uh, what species would be good for an alpaca? I'm thinking some kind of, um, hadrosaur for sure. What is a long neck? I mean, all of them just don't extend, but... I already used Sintao. Um, maybe actually a Struthi could work. I mean, eh, Struthi will work actually. I don't use a lot of Struthis. Or maybe a Gallimimus. It's like a Gallimimus skins. I'm pretty sure they all suck, but. Yeah. Uh, let's Google image Alpac. Yeah, they're kind of gray, white, they're like, like a beige sort of color, maybe. God, they're cute. I like them. They're fun. Um. Yeah, I'm thinking Struthi's the way to go here. All right, Struthi minus. You'll win. Um. What's the default, actually? Default and Tundra, maybe like do two of each. Cool. But other than that, I'm just going to do my uh, wolf pack, and that should be good for this exhibit. Only five species, I think, but. Ooh, no, four actually. Which is fine. This park has a lot of dinosaurs in it already, so it's fine if I don't have every exhibit packed to the gills. Yeah, that's that's a cool one. Not that I'll work for this exhibit. Yeah, that, that's the savannah pattern. I don't, I don't know why it's these colors, but it works well for the mountains. Tundra, Alpine, whatever. Youngosaurus. All right. Let's get him tranked, and before I chip him over, let's get the stupid fences fixed. Because I need to do that before I can actually put any dinosaurs in this exhibit. Um, I got one side done. Oh, this is risky, though, because if I delete this, they can actually leave this side. Let's start from over here. How about that? Let's do that part first. And then we'll... Hmm. It's tricky though. Because I don't want the woodland dinosaurs to be able to go up there either. So, there may have to be like kind of just like a dead zone in the middle where there's no 
Like it's just completely fenced off. Which is fine. I thought with trees or something. Put a lake there. I don't know. Although this actually could be really cool. Actually, let's just do that. There you go. They can go over here. It's fine. It's flat enough. Won't look too odd. Um, oh, fears too. Fears would be a good idea. Maybe feed my fucking dinosaurs. You know, dinosaurs need to eat. I can even put like a like a little hidden feeder over here for the special dinosaur. Anyone who goes exploring can find this little hidden feeding area. It'll be cute. Let's do it. So, we need um, herbivore feeders for the Hyangosaurus and the Struthi. We need a carnivore feeder for the Raptors and the Carnotaurus. Let's maybe move this one a little bit. Yes. Ah, uh, like right there. Just to separate them a little bit more. I don't want them all crowded together like that. That would be a little strange. Um, and I think that should be about good on feeders. Yeah. Alright. Let's do it. First of all, drink more of them. Let's do these truthies next. Here's a basic one. Man. The first dinosaur we ever made. Same skin pattern and everything. Never imagined I'd be playing this game literally years later, but here we are. That's what happens when I'm inconsistent and lazy. But hey. I'm uh, planning on recording more of the... Uh, well, I'm planning on working on the final park build with uh, Sam this Friday. I might just power through the whole thing, to be honest. At least a lot of it. Look at him go. This actually looks really cool. I'm actually really happy with how this turned out. Look at this. Oh, I didn't put any rocks in the in the water. Hang on. Just a few big ones will do. <clears throat> Alright, let's move these guys out. Holy shit, there are so many tranquilized dinosaurs here. It's crazy. Alright. Well, once this is done, I'm basically done with, the, done with the park. All the exhibits are done. I just gotta ship them all over, and that's it. So, actually, I should be incubating more dinosaurs right now. Raptors are gonna be my last dinosaur for the park. And they already have the right pattern picked out, so let's just... Put them in the oven. <clears throat> raptor, 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 raptor. And guess what? Raptor. There you go. Five of them. And you are not tranquilized. Need to be tranquilized now. Or it's your ass. So yeah. Um, the ultimate 68 species park will be coming soon. Um, very excited about that. Um, I've been looking forward to this final park build for a long, long, long time. So it's really cool to finally be actually starting it. Um, and that'll be that'll be it for this game on my channel. So it's yeah, it really is the end of an era. I've probably done at least a hundred videos for this game if I had to guess. I don't know how many exactly. I'll have to, I'll have to count and maybe put it on screen right now. How many videos have I done? Or how many will I have done? Um, 
I'm going to assume the, the final park build is going to be like, what, five, six episodes maybe? Maybe seven. So... Actually, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait till the very end to put on screen how many... At the end of the next park build, I'm going to put on screen how many total videos I've made on this game. And I, I would be surprised if it wasn't over 100. Because, I mean, you got to think. Let's see, 21 videos for the whole original series. At least probably somewhere around 20 videos for all the DLCs. Plus the ranking video. It's 40. And then... 12 park builds, each of them are from between 3 and 5 videos, so that is like 60 right there. So yeah, easily over 100. Anyway though, um, I think I'm going to speed up. Actually, I'm going to release the Carnotaurus right now. Then I'll speed up until the Raptors are ready, and then I'll release them. That'll be it. God, he's so cool. God, he's so cool. Oh no, is he stuck? No, come on. What the hell? Shit. Well, I think when I release the raptor, it should push him out. I don't know why the hell that happens. Asset transportation underway. Delivery has been completed. Alright, I'm actually I'm just gonna actually cut until Actually, the, never mind. I'm going to look at this exhibit right now because I really haven't yet. Oh, look at this. Isn't that just so cool? I kind of wish these guys were in the water, but what are you going to do? Hippos can go on land too. It's not illegal. It's just terrifying. <laughs> there are lions. I'll look at them roaring. There's the zebras. Which are the Mysora. Wow. Look at you. And then you got... um. Rhino, you got the giraffes, and hyenas, very cool, very, very cool. I am super happy with how this turned out. Honestly, I think... Um, this might be one of my coolest parks ever. Not to brag or anything, but... I think it is really cool. Oh, did he finally come out? Yay! Yay, 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 yay. Okay, good. Let's uh, go ahead and tranquilize him then, because he's a danger to everyone around him. Okay, now he's stuck. Damn it. I'm hoping they'll come out once the... Maybe it's, like, blocked or something. Maybe there's too many dinosaurs in the way that he can't get out. Possibly. I don't fucking know. I'm gonna hope, hope he actually makes it out of the stupid hatchery, because that would be really lame if he's stuck in there. All right, here's our raptor. <clears throat> there are wolves. God, they're so cool. Yeah, they're they're so cool. <gasps> okay, there we are. Good, 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 good. Request acknowledged. Let's get them all tranquilized, and then this guy can be shipped over as well. Oop, where am I going? Let's not put anyone in this van exit by accident. That would be tragic. Um, they would be in the wrong environment entirely, and they'd be very confused and lost and lonely. So let's avoid that if we can. God, 
Look at look at this. Isn't that just so cool? This little riverbank. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. All right. Um. Yeah, that's gonna be basically it. So we're gonna trank these guys and uh, ship them over. So while I'm doing that, let's do an outro. Um. So that's gonna be it for this park build. Um, it actually came together really well. I'm super happy with it. Um. Stay tuned for the uh, park tour, which will be coming out very soon, probably the same day as this is going up. Um, and then uh, look forward to the final park build starting very, very soon on Sanctuary. I'm so freaking excited about that. Seriously, it's going to be great. Um, yeah, so yeah, stay tuned for all that. If you like the video, make sure you click the like button. That's what it's for. If you don't click, click the like button, it'll be very sad because it's not being used for anything. Like, being clicked is its only purpose, and so if you don't click it, it's just depressing. It's a pointless button on a page. Very sad. Anyway, so yeah, make sure you do that. Um, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, all that stuff. Uh, let's actually look at our, our fully completed park, just for the sake of doing it.